Wisdom Teachings from Archangel Michael May 2023 by Rana Vazain, Sacred Scribe Advanced Fifth Dimensional Universal Laws Beloved Masters, over the many past years and in many ways we have endeavored to convey to you the magnificence and all-inclusive meaning of love, light from the Supreme Creator Source. Allow us to give you a brief overview of some of the vitally important details of the more refined fifth dimensional universal laws and also of the Aquarian Divine Blueprint. When you achieve a certain level of harmony within, you activate and connect the physical body gateways or portals with the higher frequency levels of your Oversoul, Higher Self, which include the Ascension Chakra or Medulla Oblongata at the base of the skull, the back portal of your Sacred Heart, and your Sacred Mind, which is located in the upper back portion of the brain. There is also an expansion of your crown chakra, a column of light, which will begin to clear the distortions that keep you from interacting with your entry level fifth dimensional sacred triad. Divine love light originated within the sacred mind of the Supreme Creator, the substance of all creation. The complete full spectrum light or electromagnetic radiation contains all the necessary light mathematics, sacred geometry, and the keys and codes needed to create worlds without end. None of the manifested universes could exist without the life force substance, and neither could you. The words love and light go together, for the two are inexorably connected. They are an intrinsic part of the whole. Everything in creation contains essence, the love, light energy of creation, or a spark of the divine. Again, we stress, Nothing can exist without it. Light permeates all manifested creation, and as new creations are brought forth into existence, the light penetrates and suffuses the darkness, thereby expanding creation out into the great void. Love is the dynamic force of all creation. Life is the Creator's love made manifest. The sacred mind and the sacred heart are not made of material world matter. They consist of gossamer ethereal light substance that cannot be detected via scientific means. However, they are more real than any part of the physical body. For once you re-establish the connection between your sacred mind, your sacred heart, and your diamond core god cell, there will be a constant flow of adamantine particles as well as pertinent advanced information coming from within your memory seat atoms and also your oversoul higher self. That is why it is so critical that you reconnect your sacred triad God consciousness, the sacred mind, sacred heart, and the multiple facets of your diamond core God cell. As you gradually move into the vibrational patterns of the fifth dimension, your cells, etheric body, and auric field will begin an accelerated purification process. Tranquility begins in the lowest level of the fifth dimension and strengthens exponentially. Gaining godly power and wisdom requires that you move beyond the massive belief patterns of the collective consciousness of humanity into attunement with your cosmic consciousness via the many facets of your higher self. Emotional stability and mental effort are required in order to successfully traverse the path of illumination. There is a law of equilibrium which applies to the fifth dimension and above. Envision your love light energy bursting forth as tiny crystalline diamonds filled with the pure divine essence of our Father Mother God. For indeed, if you are reading these messages and understand the truth in them, and if you have put even a small portion of what we have given you into practice, you are now capable of accessing and integrating the refined, rarefied frequencies of light from the Supreme Creator. At that point, you begin to build a force field of full-spectrum light as you strive to become a master of self and a conscious co-creator who creates only those things that are for the greatest benefit of all. From that time forward, your breathing exercises and affirmations take on a whole new meaning. These are major physical steps in the ascension process, for they reinstate your connection with the river of life, which contains the living light particles of creation, adamantine particles. When you are practicing the infinity breath exercise, you are breathing through the sacred heart, which creates a continuous flow of cosmic energy throughout the physical vessel. 
This process floods the system with adamantine particles of divine, sacred firelight. In order to become a living tributary for the river of life, you must prepare yourself to allow the essence of life to flow into and through you. You must use what you need and then allow the remainder to flow forth, ready and available to be molded into wondrous new creations. In this way, you become bearers and servers of the light. This is the ultimate message of all the teachings we have given you over the past years. This is the goal of self-mastery. This is the way of ascension. At times during your meditations, when you are consciously focused on your diamond core God cell within your sacred heart core, it is possible to tap into the bliss state of higher consciousness. It is as if you move into that stream or river of life it is a feeling you will never forget. However, once again, the universal laws apply. You can only access the frequency level in which you are attuned. There is a fail-safe. Therefore, as you ascend in consciousness and integrate higher and higher refined frequency patterns, it enables you to access higher and more refined levels of love, light, adamantine particles. Following are some of the major permanent God seed atoms within the physical vessel. Number one, a first ray mental seed atom within the pineal gland. Number two, a second ray seed atom within the sacred heart. Number three, a third ray astral seed atom within the solar plexus. Number four, a root chakra seed atom, a reserve of adamantine particles of light. Number five, a second seed atom within the root chakra containing your divine blueprint for the emerging age of Aquarius. The higher wisdom and refined energy required for traversing the sublevels of the third and fourth dimensions are supplied by the three God Ray attributes and qualities of each higher frequency, Oversoul, Higher Self. The higher wisdom and refined energy required for traversing the sublevels of the third and fourth dimensions are supplied by the three God Ray attributes and qualities of each higher frequency Oversoul, Higher Self. This vital energy flows through the threefold love, life, light cores within the person's column of light, life force energy, consciousness, and creativity. As a person gradually awakens to the nudgings of the soul and higher self, thereby becoming a seeker of higher wisdom, the consciousness and creativity cords become active and vital frequencies of self-mastery and ascension begin to flow into the physical vessel. Eventually, higher frequency vibrational patterns will be radiated from the God seed atom down through the river of life column of light, the Antikarana, into the soul star and then directly into the pineal and pituitary glands as well as the sacred mind and sacred heart. The physical mind controlled earlier by the ego desire body personality is then controlled by the higher consciousness facet of the soul self. Each higher dimensional sacred triad was diminished in light quotient as it moved further out into the void in the density of creation. The lowest level fifth dimensional stage of awareness, the densest first sublevel, will initiate a focus on the mental body and the integration of divine will, power. Specific evolutionary laws apply in each subdimension as well as each full plane of consciousness. Every sacred spiritual triad contains the essence of the three God rays for this subuniverse divine will, love, wisdom intelligence in action. The laws of spirit within the fifth dimensional entail learning how to wield energy in the physical material world using the three God rays from within your God seed atom via the sacred triad of the first sublevel of the fifth dimension to which you are gradually becoming attuned. The trinity aspect of the third, fourth dimensions, spirit, mind, heart, now becomes a perfected duality a soul-infused personality, fully conscious soul on the physical plane. From that point onward, the soul-infused personality is directly connected to the fifth dimensional entry-level sacred triad, which is connected to all of the higher frequency sacred triads throughout the multi-dimensions. After completing this stage of evolution, there will no longer be an oversoul higher self within the third and fourth dimensions. Brain, mind, sacred mind, will, power, purpose. 
heart, sacred heart, love, wisdom, intuition, body, solar plexus, solar power center, ego personality. The soul's primary goal is to prepare its physical vessel host to integrate enough creator light to lift its frequencies from the third, fourth dimensional environment into the base, fifth dimensional level. At that point, the physical vessel becomes a soul-infused or an empowered soul within a complementary vessel. The aspirant is no longer just a human being with a sustaining soul. Each person is like a miniature whirlpool in an ocean of the Creator's dynamic swirling energy. The Sacred Triad is a holographic, refracted expression, a specifically programmed memory seed atom facet of your white fire god seed atom. The soul's multiple memory seed atoms are an expression or specific facets of the Sacred Triad. The Ego Personality The Ego Personality is a physical expression of the soul. As you traverse the sublevels of the fifth dimension, there is a sacred triad station within each of the seven sublevels, each one diminished in size and light power from the one above. All of the sacred triads were sent forth directly from within the heart core of our God Seed Adam, and they have been stationed within every sublevel and full dimensional level, all the way down to the lowest subplane of the fifth dimension. As human beings, spirit, soul, body, you are infused with the will to create, a sense of purpose, instinctual incentive, and a complex emotional nature. Each person will have unique moods, desires, qualities, inherited complexities, and inhibitions. For each incarnation is the subtotal of the major aspects of the person's thousands of life experiences. The soul is reflected through the personality until the soul integration is complete, at which time the personality is overlighted and reflected by and through the soul self. The sacred white cosmic fire, adamantine particles, that you magnetize to you as an awakened self-master, must continually circulate. Only a certain amount, that which is appropriate for each soul to integrate at their current level of enlightenment, can be stored within the physical vessel. The balance must be radiated out into the world of form. The Supreme Creator is composed of infinite, indefinable essence power, which is so overwhelming that you cannot even begin to imagine its magnitude. That wondrous essence power has been reduced within every dimensional level of creation so that you, the starseed co-creators, may claim your portion of this magnificent potential power. Each human being contains hundreds of possible personality traits which have been stored within the genetic structure, DNA, of his or her bodily systems, physical, mental, emotional, and etheric. It is up to each person to determine which personality traits he or she will develop and present to the outside world. The faster you neutralize or harmonize your negative personality traits, the more quickly your godly potential or oversoul our self will emerge. Only then will you gain access to your full potential as a co-creative master within the physical planes of existence. Your planet is now plugged directly into the heart core of the great central sun within the Milky Way galaxy. The new cosmic ways of creator light are a great gift to the awakened souls on planet Earth. Even though these refined higher frequency rays are not being beamed directly into the lower fourth and third subdimensional levels, the transforming frequencies of light will gradually filter into and affect everyone and everything on and within the earth. Even though these refined higher frequency rays are not being beamed directly into the lower fourth and third subdimensional levels, the transforming frequencies of light will gradually filter into and affect everyone and everything on and within the earth. Scientists have announced that a hydrogen wall barrier has been discovered at the edge of the solar system. These barriers are the membranes of light that we have spoken of in the past. Science and spirituality are validating and merging many conceptual teachings and theories of the past as more human beings tap into the resources of the sacred mind. As a result of its alignment with the galactic center and attunement with the great central sun of the galaxy, the earth is in the process of raising its frequency patterns, soul song, so it may return to its status as a sacred planet. 
This subuniverse is also being upgraded in vibrational frequencies as a result of being bombarded with adamantine particles of creator light via our universal Father Mother God. The Milky Way galaxy is also divided into 12 sectors or quadrants, just as the universe is divided into subuniversal sectors, each quadrant within the galaxy having governing consoles of light in multiples of 12. Hopefully you are gaining a better understanding as to the importance of the numbers 12 and 144, for these numbers apply to all of the holograms of creation throughout this subuniverse. Remember my brave ones, in every era and major cycle, cosmic wisdom and divine truth are made available to those with open minds and loving hearts. Submission to the will of our Father Mother God means adherence to the universal laws as they are revealed to you. A self-master always strives to make the highest choices, has a burning desire to serve others, and is always responsible for their own actions. Call on us and allow us to light the way as you journey forth into the future. You are loved most profoundly. I am Archangel Mikael.